I got a letter from the bank today. They said it's been three months and you failed to pay. I didn't know what to do. What could I do? I had no clue. So I called up the doctor on the telephone. I said, doctor, I got this serious pain. And the doctor said, oh no, there's an epidemic. I said, doctor, doctor, I got a bad case. And the doctor said, let's get that erased. You take your promissory note, the red pill. You take the letter from the debt collector, saying this is from a debt collector. And you produce a letter saying impossible, simply impossible. Say that this is not a promissory note, this is a draft. Say that this is not a promissory note, this is a draft. Say that this is not a promissory note, this is a negotiable instrument. I never agreed to pay on a negotiable instrument. That instrument contains conditions, transferabilities, and assignments. And I'm authorized to negotiate those conditions. They would say you're crazy if we go into court. You say if we go to court, I will tell the judge. You have no jurisdiction in this venue. You cannot use the speed of foreclosure process to foreclose on a negotiable instrument by draft. There is no provision in law, so I do hereby challenge the jurisdiction of the opposing party. And I challenge, as is my right, the jurisdiction of this court Because who's ever heard of foreclosing on a draft? Who's ever heard of foreclosing on a negotiable instrument? You can't foreclose on a draft You can't foreclose on a negotiable instrument Stop letting them call it a promissory note They're sending you letters talking about a promise to pay You send them back a letter saying I don't think so, no way I got nothing to say, nothing to pay I don't think so, no way I got nothing to say, nothing to pay I don't think so, no way I'm gonna exercise your right, Mr. Creditor To remain silent